Dear students, now we are going to talk about resonant tunneling in unit 5. What do you mean by resonant tunneling? As shown in the diagram, you have a quantum well here, which is stated as well layer, surrounded by two barrier regions. One barrier is this one, and the second one is this one. So you have created three layers similarly, or namely emitter, a well layer and the collector. The well layer can be made up of say gallium arsenide whereas two barrier regions are made up of materials like aluminium gallium arsenide ALGAAS whereas the well layer is only gallium arsenide. Suppose imagine there is an electron here with an energy E. This energy cannot, this electron with this energy cannot climb the barrier, enter into the well and then cannot climb the another barrier to reach the collector region. So it has only one option, it has to tunnel through the first barrier, the quantum well and the second barrier to reach the collector. If suppose the energy of the electron, incident electron in this region is having an energy say E which is much much less than the first discrete level of the energy inside the quantum well say E1. So this is E1, the second line is E2. Suppose this electron is having an energy E which is less than this E1, then tunneling cannot happen. So to increase the energy of this incident electron, we have to apply a suitable potential across the emitter collector junction such that the energy of the incident electron becomes equal to the E1 discrete energy state inside the quantum well. Now the tunneling can take place that is the electron can tunnel through this barrier quantum well through the second barrier and reach the collector region. This is clearly indicated in the next graph that is plot between Vi voltage and current, the bias voltage and the current that flows through the junction region. As the bias voltage increases, the current through the junction begins to increase and once it reaches E1, if I still keep on increasing the energy of the incident electron by increasing the bias voltage then the current decreases until it reaches the second discrete level and so on. So for tunneling to happen, resonant tunneling to happen, resonance has to happen between the energy of the incident electron and the energy of the first discrete state of the quantum well, then the tunneling happens. So this is called as resonant tunneling. The well layer, the quantum well layer is made up of gallium arsenide whereas the two barriers here is made up of say aluminium gallium arsenide which has a greater barrier height. So when resonance happens, the incident electron tunnels through the well layer as it tunnels through the first barrier, the well layer, the second barrier and reaches the collector. This you call it as the resonant tunneling. I hope you might have understood this simple concept. Thank you.